We begin with breaking news on Detroit's west side where a nine year old boy has been shot. The boy was shot in the head while sitting inside a car with other children. Yeah, the gunman was in another car. This is an apparent drive by shooting. And the family tells us the child is Malik Cozy. He was waiting inside the car with his cousins for his grandmother. She was about to take them all to the movies. Jermont Terry live where it happened on Murray Hill near Fankel. Jermont, what do we know, if anything, about the boy's condition? Steve, we know he's in surgery after getting shot in the head. Family members drove him from this scene to Sinai Grace, but he's been transported to Children's Hospital, and that's the latest that we know about him at this time. Let me try to set the scene for you. Little Malik was in a car parked here on Murray Hill when out of nowhere, a silver Dodge Magnum came driving down the street and it opened fire. As Detroit police look for whoever is behind the shooting, the nine-year-old's family is in disbelief. If you're an innocent kid, just speak up. If you know something, speak up. What if it was your kid? Malik Cozy was sitting in his grandmother's car on Murray Hill near Keeler with two other children, ages 11 and 7. They were on their way to the movies. That's when several gunshots were fired toward the car. One bullet pierced Malik in the head. I've been praying for him ever since I found out. It's like he's just a joyful kid. Not bad. He was just ready to go to the movies. That's all he wanted to do. Instead, family members rushed Malik to the hospital. It was purposely meant for somebody, but a mistake that would happen to an innocent child. Detectives on scene collecting evidence. They are also looking for a silver Dodge Magnum with tinted windows, but they don't know why Malik and the other kids were targeted. Clearly, it would look like they're not the intended target, I would think, or I would hope. At least one neighbor tried to help police after the car sped off. Follow the vehicle away from the scene, and it was last seen in the area of McNichols and Outer Drive. Now a neighborhood is shaken, a family holding out hope Malik survives, and two children traumatized by it all. They walk around in the house right now with blood all over the floor. It, it's not, it's, it's traumatized. And back live here, you can see that there's still an active scene as Detroit detectives try to find out everything that happened here. Again, the nine-year-old Malik's condition, he's in surgery and family, everyone just hoping that he pulls through. Witnesses in this neighborhood told me they heard up to nine shots. Police right now can't determine how many shots hit that vehicle because that car was driven to the hospital to take Malik to the hospital. Of course, if you know anything, you're urged to give Detroit, Detroit police a call. For now, reporting live on Murray Hill, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Just an unbelievable tragedy. Jermont, were the other children in the car injured at all? Thankfully, they were not injured, Priya. I mean, glass went um, shattered, but they were not physically injured. As you heard, as the, un the uncle mentioned, what they saw will traumatize them for quite some time. Traumatize anyone. All right, thank Horrible. you, Jermont.